A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the broadcast. This is Athletic All Stars, the show that brings you all the athletes from dis different disciplines uh, from every part of this country, and also those who have gone out of the country and they are making a mark um, in their careers. Now, this is the seventh episode of Athletic All Stars. And as you know, we make it entertaining, we make it as engaging as possible. And so, you being part of this is crucial uh, for us. Um, now, remember, just as a recap, we hosted um, Enoch Mogeni, the captain or the skipper of the national men's volleyball team, uh, Wafalme Stars as the first episode, and then followed by um, Abud Chirchir. Um, from there, we went to Washu, Jen Wairimo Washu, and then uh, Dennis Omolo, KPA. Yesterday, we had a conversation with um, Moses Fialo, TVC, and uh, who's played in the league in Iraq. Uh, today, we have yet another interesting guest from the national team as well. I'll be introducing him to you shortly. Um, remember, this show is live on four different platforms. That is Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and X formerly known as uh, Twitter. Kwahivyo, feel free to ask questions. Um, and while you're doing that, uh, and even while you're commenting, uh, we hope that you are going to be respectful and you know be able to engage uh, with sobriety. If you have to offer a critic, it has to be respectfully. And also uh, comments that are able to build all of us. Kwahivyo karibuni sana to the broadcast. My co-host Florence Bosire will be joining us along the way. But right about now, allow me to introduce our host tonight. His name is Brian Meli. Walo wanaumjua kwenye mitandao ya kijami wanamuita Melito. Um, Brian Meli is the setter uh, general service unit and also... Um, He's been, you know, called up to the national team, Wafalme Stars. I think this is the second or third time running now. Um, he's also played for uh, Partizani Triana, uh, Tirana, sorry. And then the most recent one, uh, I will update you that uh, shortly. But uh, Karibu Sana, Brian Meli, uh, welcome Sorry. to the show and thank you for finding time to be able to join us this evening and to, you know, talk about your career so far. Asante sana, Egon. Uh, kwa majina na hidro Brian Meli. Kipkirui kwa hile anyumbani. I know many people don't know that. <laughs> yes, uh, mini mchizaji wa GSU, Polibo. Mili join yeah. mwaka wa um, 2017. And, uh, after like two years, Mm -hmm. I got a professional over. I came to Pakistan. After Pakistan, Kakujan came to Morocco. So that's my life story about for the day. Yeah. Sasa ulianzia GSU 2017 and only played for two years. And then call uh, got a call up to play in uh, you know as a as a professional. Lakini nataka tuanzie Mwanzo. Where did all this start? Uh ulianza kucheza volleyball lini kama ni primary kama ni high school and how did you get to you know start ulianza kama tu setter immediately ama you played another position ilianzia nzia wapi? Ilikuwa kwaje? I think you gone mimi nilianza volleyball nikiwa mdogo sana. Nilianza uh -huh. volleyball nikiwa na like same seven years Seven years. Seven years. Like in a equal, in the full boy, so I will have to do the body, I have to enjoy. Yes. Um, then after semi two years again, I can be done. I can get us a cool libero for primary sasa. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lianza Kama Libero Primary School. Yeah. Catches a libero at the Ulukwana is our county's G province. Nikenda hadi province, nikiwa libero. Mm -hmm. Siku manage kuingia nationals, because nilikuwa mdogo sana, mdogo sana. Hata mm -hmm. watu likuwa na shanga kwa niwe na chaza hadi, anapia, ana, anareceive hadi ya mpira. Yeah. So, nikamaliza hapo. Then after, nikiwa class 8, do nikaansa kuwa seta sasa. Then back, uh, nikiwa class 6, nikiwa libero, na 7. Mm -hmm. 8, nikaansa kuwa seta. 
after so, after mm-hmm. kamaliza and ka join mkumu uh, boys form 1 mm-hmm. ikaendelea kuwa set up form 1 na form 2 uh, form 2 hapo katikati kidogo nika change shule malafa nayo akaniwinda mhm kanichukua nikaenda malafa boys form 2 ikisha nika join malafa form 3 na form 4 nikiwa form 4 sasa that is where uh, many people realize about my career my 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 your talent you give to my my talents now mm-hmm. so hapo sasa ndo clubs kaanza kuniona nilikuwa napikia simu hata nikiwa nyumbani ni coaches wa KDF coaches wa KDA wanajaribu wananijaribu bado nikiwa tu shule wananiambia mm-hmm. we like to have you in our club yeah kaambia no problem after from 4 nikakuja sasa nikaingia training KDF. Ulianza KDF. K- <laughs> yes, ulianza KDF training. Kenda mm-hmm. for only training but si kuachezea. Nilikuwa mm-hmm. nisha okay, walikuwa shani sign assign kwa KPA but nilikuwa training KDF. Mhm. Nikakaa hapo KDF then uh, first leg nikaenda KPA. Nilikuwa inachezo wa Busia, yeah I think Busia. Mhm. Tukaenda tukacheza huko I managed even to win the the the, the old tournament because yes you are quite good reasons I do what I did in the past round but I managed to win as a setter mm-hmm. my first uh, my first league game mhm like you are from my school direct to KP and Nakashima after that tuko mm, kuja second match tukaenda um, na Nyuki mhm we managed again to win kapiga mm-hmm. Nairobi Water Prisons by then na GC wa Kolko menda profession. Kolko menda club championship sorry. Yeah. So we managed to be champions again. Tulipiga Nairobi Water. By then Nairobi Water ilikuwa na kina Lilo, kina wale majamaa waliandikwa wote. Mhm. Yes. So nika join, nika nika nikawapiga, nikamalizana nao. After that sasa wale wakitoka club championship GC na Prisons tukaenda tournament ya Kilivi. Mhm. I remember nikiwa Kilivi uh, hapo sasa ndo mfutano sasa kati ya two clubs between prisons yeah. and GSU. Ndio walikuwa nakutafuta sasa. Wana nitafuta sasa kufika huko tukashinda tukacheza mpaka tukakutana na semis na GSU. Ikakuwa rapture kidogo hapa na pale hata game haiku flow vizuri haikuisha kulikuwa na mambo mingi by then. Mm-hmm. Haikuisha mimi nikatoka nje tuka tukaachia tuka GSU game wakashinda. Tukaenda yeah. finals wakutana na prisons wakapiga prisons GSU ikakuwa champions. Yeah. After that nikaitwa hapa sasa GSU na mm-hmm. my my former opposite play, opposite player anaitwa Solomon Bitok. Yeah. It's my father. Yeah. Akaniita nikakuja nikakaa kwake. Eh walikuwa nataka kuniandika. Yeah. By then walikuwa washaandikana. Mhm. So nikakuja nikakaa like two weeks. Nikaenda kucheza ile ya mtatu. Yeah. Outside nikaitwa na na prisons wakanichukua hapa sasa nikaenda mpaka prisons nikaingia course ya prisons without anything i don't have id i don't yeah. have even have anything to change i don't have everything wao well, lienda tu ilikuwa nikaenda tu na 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 trosa hivyo nikafanya course for four days without <laughs> changing anything <laughs> ilikuwa fun sana yani hata ilikuwa kitingine hata si kwa na experience yeah. after some um, after some four days three days coach akanipikia coach Tarus mhm akanipikia siko na simu lakini kuna jamaa alikuwa mm-hmm. na simu huko ndani huko kwa mm-hmm. kurutu sasa mhm akanipigia simu akaniambia coach Tarus anataka kuongea na sasa akanipea simu nikaongea na coach Tarus coach Tarus akaniambia commandant wa GSU anakutaka mm-hmm. saa hii sasa nikashinda mm-hmm. tunatoka aje from uh, from prisons How can I yeah. join GSU and I'm in prisons? Yeah. Ah, so ikakuwa not prison like nimefungwa, you know many people me. Yeah, no, yeah, training. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah, kukua kurutu. <laughs> so nika <clears throat> Tarus akanipikia simu and then uh, I had to to go out because mm-hmm. at night. Because na I remember ilikuwa saa ilikuwa saa 1:30 na nusu, saa 1:45 au. So listen nikaenda nikaenda nika sneak sneak mm-hmm. nikaruka by then la cross ya GC ilikuwa na ningoja nje ikanichukua 
Land Cruiser ikanichukua nikakuja direct mpaka GSU. Of which mm-hmm. nilikuwa nachungwa. Ako yani nalala lakini nalala na askari. Mm-hmm. Na kuna bunduki nachungwa nisitoroke. The following morning hapo yeah. sasa ndo nikakimbizwa kozi ya GSU sasa. Yeah. Nikaingia kozi ya GSU. Cause I in, uh, in the morning to get the morning run. Yeah. Kuna kwenda morning run mpaka wajue kwanza kama niko ndo watu waende morning run. So yeah. nikakaa wiki kama wiki tatu ikiwa hapa embakasi then immediately wakani change ni peremke sasa makadi unajua makadi kuna mahali unaweza torokea eh eh yeah so nikaenda makadi sasa hii ni 2016 ama this is 2016 yeah 2016 hiyo hiyo ni 2016 interesting eh <laughs> yes so nikafumaliza course and then life kaendelea sasa nikiwa jesu and that is where i am now Wait, that is actually interesting. So ulianza na ulianza na KPA wakakuandika lakini ukaenda training na KDF. Na, KDF. Mhm. Ah yeah. Kutoka hapo ukaenda kucheza sasa league na 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 hao um, jamaa wa KPA. Mhm. Ukashinda league zako hadi ile wakati GSC walirudi. Mm-hmm. Then prisons wakakuchukua. Wakakuandika kazi wakakupatia wakakupeleka uende u train, uende course. Yes. yes. Uka sneak kutoka kwa course ukaenda GSU. Yes. Maajabu. Sijui kama ilishafanyika kesi kama hiyo tena. <laughs> I think that's the story I will uh, always keep in my mind the rest of my yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that is interesting. And all this yeah. because you are a good setter. By the way, that is yeah. the bottom line. Yes. Na siringi na shukuru Mungu sana. Unasema si uchawi ni maombi. Eh, ni maombi na shukuru sana. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, let me ask sababu tumekuwa tukizungumzia mambo ya mambo ya transition. Na venye wewe umesema ulianza kucheza ukiwa ukiwa I mean seven years old na ume develop kutokea hapo up to a point ambayo hata ulikuwa unafaa kuingia uh, kwenda nationals na haungeweza kuenda kwa sababu ya ule ule umri wako. Kwa hivyo what is the importance to you ya kuweza ku, kukua through those stages kwa sababu umetoka kucheza Eh, kama kijana mdogo umeenda hizo za mtaa umeanza kwanza kama libero umeingia high school umecheza umeanza kama seta and you've grown all the way sasa hizi unacheza pro wewe unaona yo, what is what is the importance of, of doing that na ime, ime, ime play role gani ya kuweza kukufikisha kwenye wewe uko sasa hizi i think you're gone um, what made me uh, play for libero na nikacheza nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa naipenda sana and uh, and that's why nikapenda pia our family everyone mm-hmm. like play volleyball mm-hmm. so kila mtu alikuwa anacheza tu volleyball then uh, there is a, a time uh, mm-hmm. philip kipiego I, i hope you know philip kipiego i actually don't you don't know how philip kipiego my opposite player he play in kenya many he play in professional many years i think mm-hmm. you know him but maybe not now yeah so is my father mhm So alikuwa anacheza sana na na ilikuwa inalipa. Ana yeah, ilikuwa yeah. So that yeah. one keep me pushing this yeah. this sport is good yeah, it can pay. Na ikanipea yeah. mwelekeo wa maisha yangu nikasema I need I have to play for libo. Na nilikuwa yeah. naipenda sana sana sana. Kama kuna mtu anapenda for libo. Yeah. Yes. So that's oh, why that, that that is the the thing keep me uh, progressing in my life uh, since when I was young like that even everyone know, knows me in home uh, yeah. MC Mat village that yes, yes. they know that I'm very very good in volleyball I love volleyball I love training I love mm-hmm. training even kids so kila mtu ananijua nikiwa nyumbani kila mtu anajua tu huyo ni volleyball yeah na, yes. na maybe zungumza pia kidogo kuhusu huko huko nyumbani now that umefika hii level um ukienda nyumbani uh, tseme kama likizo za december ni nini nini una una unawasaidia aje wale watu ambao ni wanapenda volleyball kwa sababu najua Smart for a start iko na ndio source ya volleyballers wengi sana wako kwa hii league um, na ina unajua ni sehemu ambayo volleyball inapendwa sana 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 what do you do ukiwa nyumbani uh, ili kusaidia wale ambao they look up to you na wanajua ningependa kufika mahali meli yamefika i think ile kitu tunafanyanga uh, sifanyi peke yangu mm-hmm. we do as a group because we have uh, was game my year we were prisons yeah we have uh, other guys we are many in our family so to 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 form a tournament 
<laughs> we form a group of, of, of guys and then to catch some certain amount. Then yes. to ka to ka tournament. Kuna jamaa pia ali sorry to say this ali pass ali ali yeah. saidia pia yenda ali yeah. tufanyia tournament kafanya iko yake but sisi ndio tumesaidia ndio itakuwa tournament kubwa so that yeah. is what we give them and then uh, sometimes they they don't have balls we mm-hmm. take balls we buy balls we take to them sometimes net is finished so we, we give them so that's what we and and that tukienda nyumbani pia tunaenda kucheza it's not like we are going to to just say oh play we are professional players we cannot play with them we play with them we have fun with them mm-hmm. if we win we we go and share everything that we win imagine in in uh, when we were playing some years back mm-hmm. yani tunacheza mm-hmm. competition but ni ya pesa i hope you mm-hmm. understand ile ya pesa after mm-hmm. umecheza ya pesa mhm munaenda munakula ile in in case mimi nishinde yes like nime win uh, let's say 2000 or 3000 nobody mm-hmm. will take that money home we go and yep. eat all kila mtu mnaenda mnagawa mnakula pamoja mnaenda kula pesa mwenye amekula mwenye ameshinda tunaenda kula pesa that's yeah. meaning that you have a goal not for money we are playing mm-hmm. to you know when you you have you put a, a match in a certain amount the competition yeah. will be high yeah but at last to kind of share we be friends we build each other yeah yes mm-hmm. Ah uh, hiyo ni hiyo ni fiti sana kujua ya kwamba mko na njia ya ku at least kurudisha mkono if i may use if i may use that term ili kuweza kusaidia pia wale ambao uh, wanawaangalia na ku you know mnawapatia ile challenge ya kuweza kutaka kufika mahali ambapo uh, mahali ambapo nyinyi mpo now uh, maybe utuambie tu kucheza kwa club haswa haswa kama kama club kama GSU umechezea KPA uliweza kutrain na uh, KDF umetrain na uh, well prison uliwa hepa in the middle of uh, in the beginning hata si in the in the beginning of <laughs> of career ambayo walikuwa nafikiri utakuwa nao um, what does it take kucheza kwenye 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 hizi vilabu na eh, tuanzie hapo alafu tuongelee pia in as far as uh, training is concerned uh, what goes into that making the player afike ile ile level ya kuweza kucheza competitively um eh kucheza kwa club ina 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 inasaidia aje mtu so uh, mimi kucheza kucheza KPA ilikuwa mm-hmm. mzuri kwangu sababu nilikuwa na nilikuwa na time ya kwenda nyumbani kupumzika before ni settle nianza maisha ya mabia kama ya kutafuta pesa kukaa Nairobi so ilikuwa inanisaidia nikicheza na maliza naenda nyumbani so KPA ilisaidia sana and then uh, KPA by then ilikuwa na timu nzuri walikuwa na wachezaji wazuri So na nilikuwa naipenda pia KPA by them but sasa KPA iko ile strong ya kuandikana kama GC. Mali yeah. nilikuwa nasema kwa yangu nikiandikwa nilikuwa nataka sana GC. Sababu yeah. this for we are playing uh, you are gone. You know it's not uh, all time. Kuna mali tutaacha hivyo. Yes. After tumaje hivyo lebo what next? So there is life after folibo. So hii kazi ina sana saidia hii GC ni sana saidia sana kwa muda mwingi. Kwa maisha yangu mm. ya baadaye in case for example it's not good to say but in case of other injury size uh, yeah i think bado ndakuwa kasi bado naendelea vizuri na receive mshahara wangu and life continues we have, we have a family so maisha inaendelea but um, the the good thing uh, i like in kp now they have uh, one person and they have uh, some other people now packaging job like uh, Dennis Omolo ana mepata kazi hiyo ni a plus Yes. Yes. Alafu unaona vijana wanapenda KPS hizi wanaenda wengi. Yeah. So that I think that's a good process pro- progress to, to KPA. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh that is a uh, really really um interesting Daniel Chore unasema you have uh, Christian Chore. Uh unasema ume to join kwa sasa unasema a good conversation so far asante sana for joining us let us know where you're watching from and also be able to share the link um for the others who uh, haven't yet joined us ili waweze ku kuungana nasi pia ukiwa ukiwa uko na swali kwa uh, huyu bingwa anaitwa Brian Melly uh, let us know ili tuweze uh, kujua tu zaidi um kumhusu na jinsi ambavyo ameweza kufika ile sehemu ambayo yeye amefika kama mchezaji wa huu mchezo tunaoupenda wote 
wa volleyballi uh, bwana meli uh, swali jingine ni kuhusiana sasa na kule kule kuanza kucheza kwa um, yani kitaifa sasa for, for, for the national team of falme stars uh, hongera by the way kwa kuitwa tena into the squad the provisional squad na nina uhakika ya kwamba utaweza kuwa yule seta wa kwanza pia watakapofanya ile naming ya the final ile final squad uh, ina 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 inahisi vipi yani kuweza kubeba ile ile responsibility ya taifa kwa kwa, me, kwa mabega yako how does it feel to be able to represent the country in that capacity? asante kwanza asante kwanza egon kwa, kwa appreciation mm-hmm. i think uh, ku join national team uh, it's not hard and it's not easy. Mhm. Ili join mwaka 2017 I think. No, 2018. No, yeah. 2017. Ili join 2017. Mm-hmm. Tukaenda tukacheza Rwanda. That is where zone 5 we managed to mm-hmm. win the champions. Yeah. Tukakuja tukaenda Egypt atuku faulu ku for African Championship tukakuwa sisi number 9 ama sisi number ngapi. Mhm. So kukuwa national team sio kitu rahisi. Mm-hmm. Like for me now it's not a joke to be national team uh, setter. Yeah. Because everyone is just on my back. Kila mtu anataka performance kwangu. Sababu yes. unajua setter ni kama engine. So if it can knock my friend Kenya yote inakufa kabisa. So national team it's not bad. Uh, mm-hmm. It's good thing because tuko na professional players wana support yani italeta team iko strong not like tukienda hata Rwanda we didn't have even one professional outside who play outside mm-hmm. but we manage we put our heads together we try ourselves we manage to get uh, to lose one match the whole mm-hmm. championship of which yeah. it ilikuwa results nzuri sana so tunajaribu hii next hii yenye tunaenda hii of which to train na tunaendelea ku train so mm-hmm. mtuombe we are in a progress of training pray for us no injury when the when the egypt we go and start again our life of which uh, kwangu mm-hmm. mm, the day i will qualify to play world championship mm-hmm. i think that will be the i don't know is it the last to play national <laughs> team yeah i think it will be the last to play national team i'll just play professional because yeah. uh, it's my dream to play world championship if i play only one championship i take kenya to world championship i'll yeah. be the happiest man in the world That will be the height of your career. Kuweza kuweza. Yeah, yeah, that is that is my height of my career. That is interesting. No, I I still have one. I still have one to play um to play uh, Italy in mm-hmm. profession. That is my dream again. So uweza kuingia pia ile ya Italy. Yeah, Serie A. Well, we wish you the very best. Uh mnapojianda mm-hmm. kwanza kwenda kwenda Cairo na pia kwenye ile Um, maombi yako ya kuweza kufika pale kufikisha ile timu ya kitaifa kwenye ile ngazi uh, ya kucheza World Championships um, wishing you the very best now umezungumzia kwenda uh, Rwanda na kuweza ku lose only one match I um, uh, want to think that uh, na pia imeweza kuzungumzwa na wale ambao wamekuja mbele yako ni kwamba mlikuwa tuna kama only one week uh, ya kuweza kufanya mazoezi na pia umeweza kuzungumzia kuzungumzia pia the fact that uh, wakati ule hakukuwepo na wale wachezaji ambao wameweza kucheza mechi zingine ama wameweza kucheza kama professionally uh, nje ya nchi kwenye ligi zingine uh, mwaka huu kuna possibility ya kuweza kuwepo na wachezaji kama kama wanne hivi kama sijakosea matano ambao wameweza kucheza professional league na pia mko na mmepata at least hata japo sio muda mrefu ila kulingana ule wa mwaka 2021 mnaweza kupata zaidi ya juma moja uh, i think you have like three weeks za kufanya training what are your expectations mkiweza kwenda huko na pia uh, kutokana na kule uh, ku train pamoja ambao mnaendelea kufanya sasa hivi what can you comment in as far as uh, zile expectations zako na performance ya team uh, kuanzia mwezi ujao yani ile assignment tumeenda kule eh, Cairo Yes ya kwanza kwanza napenda kushukuru sana coaches coaches mm-hmm. walikuwa na selection nzuri sana ya wachezaji wa I think hakuna mtu ameacha wengine na ni mzuri kama ameacha ni mmoja ama mbili na iko next time 
imekuwa mm-hmm. selection mzuri sana na shukuru sana coaches kwa hiyo then uh, pia na shukuru KFF kwa ku, kuleta kirongo pia kwa coach mm-hmm. atusaidie pia unajua yeye ni mkubwa pia amecheza volleyball miaka mingi is a legend in volleyball so mtu kama huyu afai kukosa unajua tukimuona ni kama baba yeah. so unapenda pia kushukuru KFF kwa kuleta coach kirongo mm-hmm. then kuhusu uh, performance in Rwanda Yeah. Uh, first uh, after to lose match mode i think it was um, to look what me kwa exhausted sana because we, we play playoffs we train like two months mm-hmm. and then we come uh, we go to mombasa we play playoffs after finishing playoffs we come uh, we train we 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 come the same day after playoffs the okay. same day at night kwa kuja tukaingia camp the following morning to answer training yeah. of which it was a tough training for four days Yeah. So kufika competition again tukapuliwa na Egypt, Morocco, Tanzania. Na tukapewa yeah. immediately Egypt the following day, Morocco, and then the last day Tanzania. So it's yeah. not a, it, it was not an easy thing to manage yeah. to, to to get points. Ilikuwa ngumu sana because tulimaliza our last match tulimaliza kitu kama 2, 2 p.m. at night. Mm-hmm. Then the following morning the they give us a training program of 8 to 9 mm-hmm. and you can't yeah. sleep you say no i'm not going to training because of time so yeah. we had to wake up again in the morning you go to training you come back you're tired and then, and then the the match of uh, of uh, morocco is four in the evening same day so yes yeah, same day <laughs> after egypt we go again to play with morocco so it was not yeah. easy we try our, our first set we beat them Second set, we push, we push, but we get tired because yeah. uh, them they get, they got a, they have a, they got a good rest. So upon yeah. we did they got okay, can be so. To capote say much, but that was all. You will end up to capote. Kila muto capote say meji mo ya mo ya, but in the two twenties, I think it scores. Katu two two we qualify to chase the quarters. Kusui national team ya size, I think it's a it's a good team. For mm-hmm. me it's a good team. the way I'm seeing it's a very very good team because we yeah. have Abiyod in opposite we have Enoch in opposite we have Kosira in middle he play again opposite but but now he specializes mm-hmm. in he's specializing in hapo katikati yeah yeah hapo katikati sababu ya block na hiyo attack zake nzuri yeah and uh, we still have Omolo again in uh, who play professional in position 4 he and an stable at a stable as a reception Alafu yeah. unajua pia sometimes eh, ni mzuri kucheza na kucheza outside. Ile fear. Yeah. Eh, ile fear inasaidia sana kama sisi tumezoea Arabu, tumezoea Wasungu. So, it's it's like normal thing. Not like at yeah. first eh, when I was I was going to play with eh, with Arabs in 2017. Eh, nilikuwa yeah. naona my friend, yeye ni tabu kabisa. Yeye mtu wait anaweza nuwa na mpira. But <laughs> it's normal. It's just normal. Hakuna kitu ati unasema oh, ni wazuri sana. Mm-mm follow yeah. bonile hawana nguvu hata sisi ndo tuko na nguvu kuliko hao yeah. but the best thing they had is the training facilities zao ni mzuri mm-hmm. uh, training programs zao timings ya yeah, training ni mzuri like uh, nikitoka moroko it was me i think me or john mhm wali train kwanza hiyo day mpaka wa leo kwanza hiyo may wana train national team hii competition mpaka wa leo wakiendelea tu kutrain so <laughs> Ah wako na time ya ku train wako na facilities nzuri sana. But yeah. sisi sio tutasema tuko chini hata tukipewa siku mbili sisi ni wanaume tuta. We will push. Hakuna venye yeah. tutaachilia tu wame train miezi nne wakuja tupige. Mhm. Uh-uh. Hatuwezi kuachilia. I think yeah. imesaidia imesaidia sana ku ku grow uh, ku, ku yani kuonekana like, like uh, we can make it uh, in this competition of which maybe it's a it's a plus for me and i'm seeing good things are coming from us wafalme this time yeah muombe tu mungu mtuombe yeah wara tusipate any injury yeah i think everything will be good you even you guys you will enjoy we will display a good game we will display a match to win not a match to to have fun no we will display yeah, yeah. a match to win I yes. think umeongelea kitu ambacho hata pia Abid aliongelea kwamba it's not just about uh, fun or pleasing uh, wale ambao wana watch nyumbani ama nini ama fans pale kwenye zero stadiums but ni kuweza kushinda 
na tunawatakia tunawatakia kila laheri um, na kukwenda huko kuwakilisha nchi ya Kenya. Um, umeweza kuzungumzia maswala ambayo ni tofauti ama mambo machache ambayo ni tofauti uh, ukilinganisha hapa Kenya na kule ambako kwa mfano kule ambako wewe umeweza kucheza kama pro uh, umeweza kutaja facilities na training programs ni nini ambazo unaona ya kwamba ziko kule nje ambazo tunaweza tukaziomba ama kuweza kuimplement huku kwetu ili kuweza kusaidia kukuza huu mchezo I think ye gone sitasema tuko nyuma sana but tuko nyuma in recent tuko nyuma like for example now the the the, the sorry to say this the gym we are using in training mm-hmm. it's yeah. not conducive it's not mm-hmm. good at all it's not good flow it's not good light no light sometimes you cannot play at 11 because of mm-hmm. the sun you cannot mm-hmm. set ball you cannot even see the ball and uh, maybe yeah. in the evening at 4 it's darkness so unatupa unatupa mpira juu unaona mpira mbili hata unajaribu jam saf kuna so hiyo perfection inapotea that's mm-hmm. that's that's the first thing because mm-hmm. uh, in Kenya we have only we have only one gym mm-hmm. imagine one the whole country yeah. have one gym na ni ya kasarani peke yake and we cannot access it <laughs> don't forget we can't access it that uh, so it's, it's present yes but access is another question another question so mm-hmm. it's a big challenge for us but to look me request i di- i think to the end of this week mm-hmm. i think maybe inshallah we we hope for the best we can yeah. enter the kasaran stadium for one week training i think to be good mm-hmm. for us to so where you cool. claim yeah. mm-hmm. because uh, for me nyayo we are playing because we are men but it's not good it's not conducive to play in, uh, in nyayo yeah. that is the yeah. first thing that put us back mm-hmm. because all clubs where I've mm-hmm. gone mm-hmm. kila mtu akona akona stadium 2 or 3 there is the the, the main clubs, one man. there is the one for training and there is mm-hmm. the one for not even good so much but it is again mm-hmm. good kama nyaya sasa ndio itakuwa kama namba 3 kwa hiyo club mode wakona wanze kama tatu so that's the seriousness of other people the country itself like morocco mali ndikuwa Mm-hmm. There is a uh, towns there is Rapa there is Casablanca in Casablanca they have mm-hmm. they have uh, 37 same town 37 wow you want 37 sisi hata yeah. Nairobi peke yake capital city tuko na moja that, that is moja serious yani tuko nyuma kabisa yeah i like for us now we have uh, girls who are playing a uh, good volleyball game i think mm-hmm. even the federation should have uh, to put pressure on this uh, this easy makampuni za kcb pipeline to put them pressure wa kila mtu ajenge uwanja because hii ni gani kweli bado tunarudi kucheza kwa mchanga it's not good it's not uh, it's not good for me if it, yeah. this is even my, my dream mm-hmm. ile wakati ndakuwa stabilized kwa mambo yangu my plans Mm. I naweza chenga gym sana ndio. Nataka sana kuchenga gym ndio. Because mm. that is the source of volleyball. Huko ndo watu wanapenda volleyball sana. Yeah. Na hatuna hata uwanja hata mmoja. Imagine Lore hata mmoja hapo. Yeah. It's not good. Hata you gone you know many people laugh for the in in Lore but no. No gym, no nothing. No where to train, no where to come and watch the matches. Uh, the matches are affected by weather conditions kinyesha we forget jesu we forget prison we forget keep you we come back of which yeah, is not good you know that is the, the, the that's what drain us back mm-hmm. yes eh basi tuna kazi nyingi sana then uh, then uh, gym uh, mm-hmm. gym people are used to go to gym so much to play for them not to mm-hmm. go and make muscles mm-hmm. no munaenda gym there is a mm-hmm. program of gym Mm-hmm. because you can't a profession mm-hmm. <laughs> my friend program pale ni tight very tight mm-hmm. unamaliza kukula unamaliza gym after gym unaingia mazoezi so program ni very tight na wan- mm-hmm. lazima uende gym because hiyo unajua muscle sometimes inaweza tear nini mpaka uende mm-hmm. gym so hiyo ndo bado assist kwa na shida pia mtu anakuja anaingia kwa mwanja anacheza anaenda kwa mwanja without nothing no gym no everything so that's what always bring us back 
Wow, uh, na tumai those relevant people are also watching kwa sababu eh, mambo ambayo yamezungumziwa hapa wewe kina Umolo kina Abud kina Enoch experiences ambazo hata washu experiences ambazo wameweza kuona kule nje um, there's a lot that you know they can pick for that from that na if only wangeweza ku implement even even three of those issues ambazo mmeweza kuzungumzia tutaweza kukuwa na tuta there'll be a change kwa sababu kama nani alikuwa anasema uh, sialo na pia na pia wacho um, nani Dennis Omolo walikuwa kwa league moja huko huko Iraq na wanasema wanacheza walikuwa wanacheza around 16 matches in a month sijui kulikuwa aje huko uh, Morocco kwenye ulikuwa kwa sababu hapa unacheza jinsi hiyo ratiba huwa inatengenezwa you can play one match or even two matches league matches in a, in a month kwa hivyo the fact that ziko hivyo apart alafu kuna teams ambazo clubs ambazo hawa train pamoja wanakuja tu pamoja wakati wa wakati wa league hiyo 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 matches inafika so unaona pia developing as players inakuwa inakuwa ni vigumu sijui ilikuwa kuaje huko kule ulikokuwa i think pia unajua you gone the more matches of volleyball mm-hmm. wakati mwingi the more una una improve na the more yeah. una yani una feel mpira inakaa kwa mwili yako Yeah. Like for example now um mali nilikuwa tulikuwa tunacheza mm-hmm. every weekend every Saturday tunacheza. Sometimes sina pile sina kuja Wednesday. So you play Sunday, no you play Saturday, sun, eh, Wednesday and Saturday again. Sometimes mm-hmm. sina pile but every Saturday tulikuwa na match. Yeah. So niambia kwa wiki mtu amecheza game kama 5 6. Wengine wamecheza kama likiwa partisan tulikuwa tunacheza over 10. Mhm but nimekuwa moroko ilikuwa a little ilikuwa imepungua kidogo yeah yeah so so hizo vitu zinasaidia sana a lot mm-hmm. it helps a lot si kama sasa mchezaji you give uh, many time mchezaji aenda pumziki a train too for nothing you train for one month for nothing yeah what are you training for one month all ma- one month you train for one match or two matches or three matches yeah i think pia ile kitu ya kusunguka nye kwa na sukukanga ile ya kwenda sije ndore kwenda wapi i think you kitu ilikuwa nasaidia pia sometimes ufichi ungekuwa na hizi mind nzuri tukao tunaenda kusunguka kusunguka pia unajua ilikuwa nasaidia sana mm sababu unacheza mechi mingi the more unacheza mechi mingi the more impira mm-hmm. inakuja kwa mwili wako mpira mpira inakaa kwa mwili wako ufichi that's what needed uweze niambia egon mm-hmm. hata ile ile kutraini ile siku nne uende upige moroko ame train umeenda yeah. friends Do you know do you know utatumia nguvu nyingi sana kupiga watu? Let us be realistic, let us be sincere about this. It's not yeah. easy kupiga wale watu. Yeah. Wale mtangangana but there is where atawachilia sababu ile mtu ameprepare vizuri. Like for yeah. example now in national team uh, we have uh, Egypt, they are not in their home. They are in Italy. Wana train Italy. Wako Italy. Friendlies and train. Morocco yeah. I think they are in Turkey. I think. Na alianza kutia mtatani. Tunisia walikuwa competition Qatar. Mhm. Umemaliza sijui kama bado wako Qatar. And we are going to play those people. Na nyinyi mko na me train for three weeks nyayo. Size unaniona kwa nyumba? Eh. Yeah. So wewe mwenyewe unajijasia but what are my sure news we are not going there because of our problems. Yeah, yeah, we are going yeah. there to play and win. We don't care where we train, we don't care what we eat, we don't care why you, um, the time we get in training. We are going there to play and win. What matters is you ukishafika pale ni ku win. Tunasahau tunasahau zote zenye zimepita. Tuna carry sasa fila ya Kenya. Ah man. But, I, but I, you're gone, you're gone. we have to look this back. We have to look very much. If we need yeah. a good results, we have to look this. Hey, inabidi hapo iweze kweli kuangaziwa kwa sababu uh, if, you, if, you, if you make it easy for people to train give them enough facilities and everything there will be no hakutakuwa na excuse ya kusema tuli kosa kufanya hivi kwa sababu hatukukuwa na hatukukuwa na hizi hizi facilities i i hope the relevant um, relevant bodies um, are listening in kwa sababu you all of you are shareholders in in in, in this um, kwa hii hii fani yetu ya volleyball ya yeah? um, now pro umechezea national team kweli 
uh, you've you know gone to the the, the levels ambazo mulieza kufika na team ya kitaifa uh, that aside twende your assignments as a professional um, volleyballer as a professional setter sasa eh ili kwa kuaje tirana na pia huko kwingine ulikokuwa moroko how 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 is it there and, and and what does it mean what difference is there kuweza kuchezea huko nyumbani kwa club na huko i think you're going to play professional as a setter again it's a, a big challenge not mm-hmm. even a challenge it's a big big challenge mm-hmm. of course first thing uh, communication <laughs> uko 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 watu wanaongea lugha yenye uwezi eneo Mm-hmm. like they speak french mimi si kusema mm-hmm. french yeah others they speak their mother language it's yeah. very difficult so others they don't even listen english oh yeah hii kiingereza ni foreign kabisa kwa hakuna hakuna wasiki kiingereza so for me haikuwa rahisi nikienda albania mhm ilianda ilianda tirana no albania mhm niliona like this is a different thing because you have to go and learn their language first mm-hmm. after you learn their language mm-hmm. you start now playing with them do you know nilifika albania like mm-hmm. four na nikaingia training six what are you saying na the following day niko na match wow niko game and i don't know how to communicate niambie utashinda aje Ai ai Kwanza communication <laughs> itabidi sasa kwanza majina. Majina sasa ni ngumu. Ehe. Kuita mtu jina yake ni ngumu. Sasa najaribu kumuita jina hata sometime mpaka namuulize huyu mwingine mnaitanga jina gani rais ndio asikie. <laughs> Sababu middle player you have to to give to give signs. Yeah. So you have to call. But sasa hiyo ilikuwa big challenge. Unajaribu kumuita jina kwanza unaita mwingine. So sasa unacheza tu open open ball kwanza ndio ndio sasa mcommunicate it was a, a, a big challenge for me mm-hmm. then coach again coaches let me tell you coaches in profession they are mm-hmm. coaches mm-hmm. they need results yeah no excuse no excuse brian no, okay unasikiza no. unasikia lugha ama usiki hakuna <laughs> kama ukusikia lugha ama ukusikia ulipigwa yes nilipigwa eh. so yeye anataka results because they pay you Mhm. Yeah. So ile pesa yenye wanakulipa mpaka utelewa. Nataka kuona kazi. Yeah. But for me see unaona after some time mm-hmm. yangu inaanza kupungua. So pressure mali pia inaenda ni opposite. Mhm. Ukiwa professional na wewe ni opposite. Kidogo pia mm-hmm. pressure inaenda kwake. Sababu ya fa mm-hmm. deliver, ya fa kuwa top scorer. Na is, yani asikuje chini ya wachezaji wale. Mm-hmm. Kwangu pia ya fa ni maintain wins because I'm the engine of the team. So ilikuwa yeah. challenge sana nikiwa nikiwa Albania. Nilifika nikapewa yeah. match nikangangana nayo mpaka at least kaingiana but nikapoteza. Nilipoteza kikombe ya semis, nikapoteza semis. Sababu semis unacheza mara best of 5. Ukipigwa mm-hmm. 3-0 so unaelewa best of 5, best of 5 yani yeah, yeah, yeah. unacheza home na mnakuja kwangu kama GSU. Tuna kama tu for example if we are playing with the prisons. Mm. So you come to play in GSU you mm-hmm. go back to prisons if i win in gsu and i go and win in prison yeah we still have one match yeah you, uh, they will come back to my home we play yeah if yeah. i win it's finished if i win here and i, I go to prisons i lose i come back again to gsu i win i have to mm-hmm. go another one to prisons if wow. there are prisons again take we have to play the fifth set in a the neutral ground now when. Oh ni neutral. Yeah, neutral. Eh, interesting. Considering huko tunacheza tu. Si rahisi na hiyo ndio semi sasa. That's why that's why you get uh, in professional you can play more matches. You yeah. play like uh, in a week. You play uh, three times in a week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Eh. So professional you're going kidogo Simbaya na na ina yani akili my friend before you play it's, mm. it's not easy it's not easy before like nikiwa morogo juice finals mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. finals the, the night before finals yeah nilikuwa shida i didn't sleep mhm anjaribu kulala na fikiria sasa nipigwe sasa this is my last job yeah 
Yaani unafikiria mambo mingi inajaa kwa kichwa bure. Coach anakupea pressure anataka ushinde. Anaku text siku yote. I need you tomorrow. I need you to win. Please do this. Please do this. Please do this. Avoid yeah. this. So ile pressure ni unapewa hapo. Watu unajaribu kulala usingizi hakuna. Unajaribu kukula unakonda kidogo. Mm, sababu ya 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 hiyo winning. Na nikiwa Morocco we are playing we are playing finals in our city. Mhm. So pia kuna pressure yoni pressure nyingine kutoka fans. Alafu unajua yeah. venye 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 wale fans wao wanakuanga. Yeah. They are very arrogant. They get, they can even do anything to you. Yaani mkipoteza mnaweza kuwa vibaya yeah. sana. Eh yeah, wanaona kabisa wewe wenyewe wewe ndio umepoteza game. But nikashukuru Mungu, nikashukuru Mungu by then I play that finals. Nilikuwa na es mingi kwa services. Nilikuwa mm-hmm. na defense mzuri. Mm-hmm. Na nikapewa MVP. Na nikashukuru Mungu tukashinda. So hiyo pia ikan 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 boost sana. Ina relieve your pressure. Yeah. yeah, it can relieve your pressure. Na pia I hope iliweza ku kusa, yani kuonyesha watu ile 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 skill ambayo uko nayo kama unasema as a setter uliweza kupata service service essays ukaweza kukua MVP na of course ukasaidia team kushinda unajua hiyo inaonyesha ile best setter pia nilikuwa best setter, best setter. yeah naona inaonyesha watu ile skill ya yenye uko nayo na pia ya kwamba unaweza kuwa a utility a very nice uh, utility player kuweza kufanya hizo roles zote congratulations on that what happened with the with the team yenu ilikuwa club championships by the way no 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 you know it's oh. a it's, a, it's a private a private club not a institution club oh okay Um, yeah yeah. Oh yeah, you had mentioned I think at the time tukiongea ulikuwa unacheza hiyo Royal Cup or something. What was that? Yeah, Royal 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 Cup. Uh, Morocco Royal Cup. Okay, now so so what what was the difference in in as far as tuseme kama challenges sasa uliweza kupitia huko Albania na 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 huko Morocco? Are they the same ama ama what was different in in, in the two countries? I think Albania ni mbali kidogo. Mhm. Mbali and uh, it's uh, Europe, not Africa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Morocco to me Africa. So you can get many things in Morocco. You can get food, good food like for Africans. But mm-hmm. ukiwa Albania ilikuwa challenge. Unapata chakula ni tofauti tofauti. Mhm. Yeah, that's the big challenge in professional food. Is a big challenge. Hakuna ugali. You go there, <laughs> you eat rice. You eat rice, you can't play. You eat rice, you can't play. That's that's all. Na unakula rice na unaenda gym. Rice gym. Na but but gym there is a ukienda gym si kuna 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 hii nini supplement ya protein. Hiyo inasaidia na na kutizu calories ni choka. Yeah. Yeah. Eh that is interesting bana. Uh it's good to know easy vitu kwa sababu nafikiri inasaidia kupatia wale ambao wana wangependa kuenda inawapatia perspective waweze kujua hali hali ikoje huko nje karibu sana Florence thank you very much um, pole sana for coming in late i had things i had to take care of pleasure having well, you Brian Milly how is your evening good maybe yours mine is also good thank you so much for joining us you gone you had a good day Ah yes 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 I did and uh, the uh, past uh, about 50 40 something minutes have been interesting unaweza kujua quite a number of things from this gentleman hapa amekuwa uh, kituelezea tu saa hizi kuhusu his stint as a professional player na zile changamoto ambazo uh, ambazo amepitia kwa hivyo karibu sana um, thank you thank you we will continue from there uh, I think we have a comment from another question kutoka kwa huyu jamaa anajiita Danko aka unajua tumezoea Danko jina yake original ni Chore. Jamaa alicheza ali, alisoma St Anthony's Kitale. Na wanasema is watching from Egerton University na wanasema ajui kama Meli is trying to grow some other Meli uh, or beyond maybe maybe hapo GSU ama Simat ama former primary school ama high school um uh anauliza or do you have any plans of growing of growing uh, other talents other mini melis uh, out there so over to you bana meli i think abu kwa daniel chore simba sana but um, you know you know mimi nikikutana na sepe yote from now 
Mm. Like for example, I've given out my I cannot show you many things because uh, mm. you know unajua talent pia nikupenda. So siwezi kukuonyesha like how to play so much na uenda upendi au na ile interest ya ku put in. So ile kitu sometimes mimi nikutana na masetas wengi wengi wananiambia anga una seta aje nini nini nini. I give them I don't want to to show them many things in fully but I show them some lakini mimi wanga na wapea kitu kama not money i give them maybe my jersey my shoes my everything sababu mimi kujua fully boy yangu kukua seta mzuri mali niko nilikuwa napenda ku watch a good setters beyond me my mentors kama kama kuna seta wa Egypt anaitwa Abdallah ali retire lakini bado anachezea Al Ahly club kama kama Christensen wa USA alafu kuna Bruno huyo wa Brazil so I want yeah. only yani nilikuwa najaribu kuona ni nini wanafanya differently yenye yani unajua wale masetas wa yani wamefika wa, wa, kiwango kingine wanachezanga kitu kingine kama magic yeah and that that's what uh, push me sometime mm-hmm. nikinaenda najaribu nafanya kitu so sometime wakinuliza we unataka kufanya nini unafanya una setting aje una train aje na ambia anga kuwa na interest then kuwa na ule mtu mwenye unamfuata nyuma jaribu kuona huyu mtu anafanya nini then go and implement because siwezi kukutumia a gone video like now ya gym mm-hmm. wewe unaoe gym na ujui fenye utainua hiyo gym wewe unaweza enda uweke dumbbells mingi yeah. so mimi ile kitu naweza kuambia naweza kukuambia tu watch kuwa na interest kama sasa yeah. kuwa na interest but nimekuwa na status wengi sana wanani texting hata sometimes but no ambianga to interest na ku follow setters wengine fitting wanafanya that is all about what i can give to setters because siwezi yeah. wafikia wote at the same time uh asante sana for that response and asante chore for that question um ladies and gents uh, if you're joining us now who you ni Brian Meli setter wa general service unit na pia ako na ile assignment ya kitaifa kwenye ile timu ya Falme Stars the National Volleyball Men's Team ambao wanajiandaa kwa sasa uh, kwa zile competitions ambazo zinakuja kule Cairo Egypt na tunaweza tu kujua jua ni this guy ambavyo ameweza kufika ile level ambayo yeye yako kwa sasa um, so ukiwa na swali don't, don't hesitate uliza pale kama ni Facebook in the comment section pia LinkedIn ama YouTube ama ukipenda pia mtandao wa Twitter ama kwa sasa inaitwa X ask any question that you want to ask and we'll be able to fully get uh, Brian Melly to respond Florence do you have a question for our guest tonight? Well uh, uh, once again uh, apologies for coming in late I don't know whether this is a question that has, has been asked and if it's so I I'm sure you're going to pass it but mine is rather I'm going to trickle down to the other setter in the family and in this regard i am talking about kevin mayo who features for prisons kenya and is equally uh, 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 has been equally called up to the national team i want to go back to the basics in this re- in this uh, case when uh, both of you are now aspiring to be top setters in the country We know that both of you grew up in Simat so I'm not sure whether both of you schooled in Simat and uh, uh, consequently also in schools that were close to each other or maybe the same school I do know that uh, Kevin Mayo is a little bit older than you and both of you are setters very dependable setters in your own rights has it ever been a challenge going back home and uh, th- is there that some form of competition between the two of you when it comes to setting having known that you're both featuring for the top teams in the country i think bosir uh, thank you for kuliza swadi um mayo mayo first thing to listen my shule mode and is my brother mm-hmm. and we play same team tukiwa shule but yeah alikuwa mkubwa wangu so i can't uh, ata kan alikuwa mzuri kidogo kwake but alikuwa ananifundisha before nilikuwa mzuri so nilikuwa chini yake alikuwa juu yangu nilikuwa shule but ile nilikwambia ile nilikuwa namwambia ile interest ya mtu unajua ina, inaenda ina, inatoa perception different so mi, mi tulisoma na mayo akaniwacha nikiwa form form akiwa form 
nikamaliza nikiwa ai alitoka form 4 nikiwa form 3 I think mayo mayo ni sata mzuri sana naenda alinisaidia pia nilikuwa najaribu kuona something kwake different yenye alikuwa anafanya yenye mimi msifanye then i put in nikajaribu kufanya umeuliza kitu kingine kuhusu kuhusu tukienda nyumbani competition tukiandanga nyumbani na mayo we, do, we forget we forget like competition tukienda nyumbani i play position 4 yeah, na kuwa for one match then i change i go for setting anakuja kucheza position 4 so it's a uh, it's, it's sisi ni kama yani si tuko bonded kabisa hatunanga hiyo kitu ya kusema oh sijui uh, this guy is, I, I hate him because he's a setter no even to high school alikuwa ananitanga tu substitution atufanyange substitution eh inakuanga tu we kuja yeye anakuja na unazitukia ndio amefika kwa mlango anataka kuchukua ingia ndani mi natoka yeye anaingia so it's not like uh, we are competing mi na maya tu hakuna mali tuna compete it's hata wewe mwenyewe if you if you are in our family wewe mwenyewe utaona eh hey, these people are different same same uh, same same school we go again to national team we are playing same position same family but no hatred very well very well well understood and uh, i want to commend that having that healthy relationship and the healthy so to speak uh, competition though you have not called it that because each one has an opportunity to represent their team and most especially when it comes to the playoffs sometimes we see a face off between prison kenya and uh, prison and uh, gsu it's good to know that there's no bad blood it's just competition and moving on beyond that nyinyi ni marafiki wa karibu nita sukuma tena hiyo swali naomba nibakie tu hapo hapo nyumbani we have uh, philip mayo philip mayo is one of the first very first players kwa hii inchi ku represent kenya in professional volleyball um najua kwamba by the time mayo alikuwa sasa peak ya mchezo wake even before going pro you were probably wewe ulikuwa kijana mdogo unaweza sema kwamba alikutia moyo aliku challenge aliku encourage kufika mahali umefika sasa hivi having even played professional and umepata pia individual awards in a professional team yes bosire uh, before ukuje meeting that it was my first thing to say about uh, to play profession mayo philip mayo alini alini alinisukuma sana nicheze nicheze profession sababu ya family alafu sababu unajua unajua people don't know this for the pay this for this for the pay a lot of money so if you put uh, interest and you put your concentration in volleyball i'm telling you <laughs> this for the pay a lot of money so that guy push push me a lot alafu alafu alikuwa ananipenda sana alikuwa ananijaribu kuniambia wewe ni sata mzuri alikuwa ananitia moyo niendelee kuwa kuwa mchezaji mzuri hiyo kitu ilinisaidia sana kwa zile venye unasema. Uh, even kuna time alikuja shule tukicheza na akina Mayo. Akakuja akaongelesha akakuja akatuongelesha wachezaji wa Palamba Boys. Yaani unaona yani alikuwa anatutia nguvu sisi tuendelee kucheza. Hii kitu there is a fruit in this for him. Of which pia before yeye familia baba zetu wengine walikuwa wanacheza. So this is a, a something like recurring iko ina yani ni inaendelea tu so tunapenda wote family yetu wote walikuwa wanacheza volleyball that's what push us to play volleyball i think the man said that question yeah you have you're gone indeed 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 uh, asante sana meli uh, nitaweza kusoma tu comments ambazo zimeingia hapa uh, anaitwa khamir mapur malwal kachwal wow and I'm watching from Mount Kenya University. I wish you all the best, Meli. No doubt you will make not only Kenya proud but also East Africa in general. Aspire to aspire and asema kwamba great work you are doing. Proud of you, Ruth Wekesa. And asema congratulations, Meli. We are so proud of you and may God continue blessing the work of your hands. Alafu Kisha Ruth Letisha and asema seta one. Big up. We are proud of you continue shining thank you so much guys for being able to join us uh betty myopia masi myo sorry and i say my big up bro proud of you and uh, all the 
best. Koibo Asanteni sana. Keep those comments coming in. Uh, we will definitely, and even questions if you have for um, Seta One, as uh, one person there has said, uh, Brian Melly will um, answer those questions. So Asanteni sana for those comments as well. Um, the other thing, of course, to Mzia, Yale Mamba Mbaya to Mipenda Kuona, uh, Yale Mamba Mbaya to Mipenda Kuona, Yani Yameza Kubatilishwa. So Ali Jingina Balo Nime, even talking to talking about Hilo Swala, Yale Mamba Mbaya Kueza could transition, and even from your history yourself, Meli Umeza Kuzungumzia Hili. Uh, to Meza Kuona recently is the Michezo ya High School, and we've seen really good talent, Mbaya Mekuepo Pale. Uh, very nice display of you know uh, talent and 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 a good game generally. Uh, but Mimi Napata, there's a very huge disconnect. Kutoka pale kwa high school na kuweza kuingia professional. Okay. Sijui, what what would you say kwa hiyo maneno kusababu? Tunaona talent nyingi zinavanyo ulisema. Kuna talent nyingi sana mashinani. Of course, hatuna facilities za kuweza, ku, kuweza kugrow your talent, but your talent inapotea. Unless you are exceptionally good, enye club itakuja kutafute individually seme, hey, Meli, eh, mwenye nachezea, say Cheptil, ama Anderson, ama whichever other school, ama Ruti, Ruti Mitu, um, is good, uneza kuja kwa club yetu. What, what do you think needs to be done to kuweza kunacha your talent ambayo kwa kule mashinani? ili weze kufika hizi levels ambazo we umecheza za club na pia pro. Yeah, Yegon, I think uh, I will discourage one thing first. Mm -hmm. To be a good player, good player, there is one mm -hmm. thing people are messing up. Mm -hmm. Pombe. Pombe. This thing you memorize a generation yet to know. See at this generation yet to know. Mm -hmm. Walai memorize kabisa. Unapata kijana mm -hmm. mdogo, mm -hmm. ya nakunyo pombe, Unashanga sasa uyu hakuwa na mwele kogani. Na ni mchezaji mzuri sana. That's why mm -hmm. they cannot transist from school to join this mm -hmm. big club. Mutu wanacheza, ana focus. Ana, idea ni mzuri kweli, lakini hii pombe pia kidogo inajaribu kutu to drain chin. Of which na advise uh, young players wenye bado wako shule, coach, eh, walimu, coaches wao. Ijaribu tuwaongelesha. Unajua yeah. pia tuwaongelesha. Yeah, God, let me tell you one thing. You can yeah. be a good player, but kuka ugo ju, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not easy and it's not a joke. Saizi, yeah, God, unezoku unachesa volleyball vizuri, kama mimi, for example, unachesa volleyball vizuri. Mm -hmm. and then, after some time, unapata mutu, anapotea tupekia. Unashindu mutu, bona anapotea. Yeah. So there is a inbuilt, there is, kuna fitu singine ndogo ndogo, enye, inafanya mutu anapotea kwa game. Yeah. Kama pombe, drugs. Hizo vitu ndogo ndogo mida discourage sana kwa mchezaji. You know mchezaji you are using a lot of calories. You need a rest. You need a, a, a mind upset. Ndi ucheze uko mchezaji mzuri. Of which mimi na discourage kabisa hiyo drugs. Drugs na pombe play. Kwa vijana wadoko wa chani na ndi wa transist from high school. Wa ingie yeah. clubs, yeah. clubs. Na wa endile wa prosper from clubs. Wa ende ju. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, hey, all right. Uh, maybe I'll take you a pale, uh, and then I'll hand over to to Florence. While we are still there, what what is it that separates a good player from a great player? Umeongele yu aspect ya 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 nini? Does it apply also to the ones who are already kwa hi level? Ama wale wadogo kwa sababu wa kufika hapa. But majorly, what are what are some of these things? Ambazo unaweza point ya kusema. This is what makes you know. A, a good player. Napenda hiyo kitu umesema ya kwamba kuweza kubaki pale juu. If you are good, maintaining that status there, hapo ndio kuna kazi. But what are some of these tips ambazo uneza payana useme? This is it that separates a good player, an ordinary player, from a great player. I think pia ya gone sometime uh, ni focus. Mm -hmm. uh, kama for example, let me use for example GSU. Mm -hmm. GSU tume tumekuwa na muda mwingi kwa kuwa champions mm -hmm. of which ukikuja hata training yetu from grassroots utaona kweli ya watu they want something we mm -hmm. don't you don't train for just fun you focus that's mm -hmm. that's that's keep in mind inachukua sisi wachezaji kila mtu anafikiria maisha yake 
mbele hakuna mwenye anafikiria maisha nyuma so hiyo mm-hmm. ndio unasema focus kwa wale wachezaji wenye tuko nao same uh, same age same type of uh, football now mm-hmm. hiyo kitu ya focus please wa emphasize sana wewe kuwa na lengo yako ya maisha yeah. wewe usione tu hapa jaribu kuona huko juu kama unaesafika ngangana ngangana train uone kama unaesafika hapo that is that the, the best thing i can leave for this this uh, this class of volleyball ni focus yeah. kuwa na mwelekeo kwa maisha yako kwa volleyball this thing it's good and i'm telling you guys it's good and it's payable inalipa sana yes Asante Ayu. sana I think wale ambao wanasikia wameweza kusikia hata Biblia yenyewe inasema aliye na masikio na aweze kusikia. <laughs> uh, Florence uh, mimi niko na swali ambayo once again sina uhakika kama imeulizwa. Uliza tu. Meli amecheza professional na ameibuka kuwa mchezaji mzuri sana kwa muda mfupi ambao ameweza kuficha for international and, 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 and over, overseas uh, team. Ningependa mm. kujua ni challenges gani amepitia akiwa huko. Ni mambo gani ambayo amepitia? Tunajua kuna vile ulikuwa umezoea a certain way of doing things, mazoezi kwa njia fulani, coaches wenyewe hapa ni wa Afrika. Ulipoenda huko nje and uh, nataka kwanza kujua ni matarajio gani ulikuwa nayo when you were going out there. What did you expect? What ulivyo ulipofika huko what was the situation on the ground? Yes Bosira I think uh, kwangu this is not uh, the stop of my this is just a step bado na bado na, na niko na haji sana ya kuendelea so uh, challenges ni mingi sana ukiwa professional nilikuwa nimesema hapo baadaye kidogo like um, nilikuwa nasema for example communication as a certain then uh, there is something uh, mimi siko anafanyanga before nicheze professional kuna kitu ya weightlifting gym fitness si kwa nafanyanga hizo so that one made me even a big challenge because ukienda huko kila mtu anafanya yafaa ufanye na team so that hiyo ndio pia ndilikuwa challenge yangu kubwa pia professional kawaida eh, food nini hiyo pia ni challenge kwa kucheza um, professional And then uh, definitely nilikuwa namwambia Egon pia kuwa seta coach anakupea pressure every time anataka ushindi Every time akiona ukiweka mpira kwa block mbili makosa anakukomplainia and um, ni mzuri pia kukomplainia ndio ku improve kwa maisha yako afolu so to play professional as a zeta i'm telling you moja atakuja kwenda baada ama wawili watakuja kwenda baada after mimi lakini wataambia same story it's not easy ni ngumu ni ngumu kusema kweli mbili hata kupata professional yenyewe kwanza kama zeta ni ngumu sana it's very very big challenge get professional as a setter. Yes. That is true. That is very very true. And uh, good job because I know still as a setter I do understand what you're talking about because that position is like you're the engine of the team and by the time a foreign team trusts you with that responsibility it takes a lot. Now, um ningependa tena kujua being a setter again the engine of the team na ni kwamba umekaa kwa team kwa muda mrefu. Tuseme umechezea national team for quite a bit now. By the time umeearn hilo jina Kenya One, I am sure kuna mazoea fulani umekuwa nayo kwa timu ya Kenya. Ningependa kujua ukicompare timu ya Kenya size, the provisional squad that has been assembled, na the fact that kuna wachezaji wengi ambao wanacheza professional compared to the past. Kitambo tulikuwa na akina Dennis Mukua, akina Jemo akina just uh, the recently uh, nani aliwa join what is the name matakwe join them saizi kuna wengi na bado vijana wadogo wamepata hiyo opportunity ya kwenda nje na kurudi una matarajio gani kimabadiliko kwa team moving on to uh, afcon and i'm hoping or rather we are praying that you make the squad should you make the squad the final list una matarajio gani compared to performance za kitambo na wafalme Uh, first of all Bosire uh, this national team ilikuwa nimesema hapo baadaye this national team uh, ni mzuri sana because uh, we have like everyone play pro- professional with the different positions eh uh, nyuma hapo kidogo naweza kuzia tulikuwa wazuri but we play one position 
you get Jamos alikuwa anacheza opposite Philip Mayo alikuwa anacheza opposite uh, by the kuna Dennis Pia alienda alienda provision akidoka akarudi so folbo in a fall folbo size in a different na ile yenye tulikuwa na hapo kitambo for example eh uh, hiyo hiyo wakati atuko tunacheza e pipe of which that is a threat now in uh, in real volleyball of now bila tu ki saviwa ifika kwa seta hiyo pipe hiyo kitu ni very dangerous sana kwa volleyball sai uh, to add another one uh, we have uh, position for omolo we have uh, middle player kosirai uh, seta of which akuko na seta mwenye maiche za professional that's a, a, a big plus we have uh, two op- oh, no, three opposites we have one outside sialo we didn't call uh, did, didn't make for a call up national team but let me tell you one thing you eh, sisi ni wazuri kweli tumecheza professional but atuta jigamba because unaweza vika huko things are different so we are putting our legs to other players we are putting our heads and our coach we try to make something good because we have potential we have many players who play for profession but that one it doesn't mean we are going to win if we don't put our heads together if we don't put our minds together to come and play as a team to listen our coach is the results as it are talking but if we put our minds together wale well, professional players wataonekana but kama hatuta put our heads together wale well, professional hawataonekana na itakuwa picha mbaya so what i heard other players we are in national team now please we put our heads together we can play as a team because sometimes unaweza sifu Kenya iko na professional wazuri tufike huko tupotese what will be the next story meli anacheza professional abud anacheza professional enok anacheza professional kozire anacheza professional uh wale wengine wanacheza profession uh-huh. what is the where is the results so this thing it's uh it's it's not uh something to make it happy it's a very 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 strong 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 uh, strong conversation strong um, strong upset we have to put our minds together for this thing because iki tu tuzipoweka akili pamoja inaweza kuleta shida tukisema sisi ni wazuri na uenda sisi si wazuri so that is what i'm saying and what i mean from national team very good very good and uh, that's quite a conclusive uh, response to that question i'm sure kuna hiyo challenge na i'm sure you're up to the task we will see good results michael regan is saying what would be your advice to a setter who's currently playing the league and wants to get to your level because of because you inspire many of us. Nini ni unaweza ambia setters? I know you have mentioned it before but for the sake of Michael Regan, unaweza ambia nini setter mwenye anataka kukua kama wewe? <laughs> hey, unajua hapo hapo kidogo mimi wanga nilichanganya sana. <laughs> Naweza mu advise tu akue focus. Ajaribu kuona ku, kuika mfano kwa wale setters wengine. Na aweke hiyo focus tu sababu uh, bosiri hakuna kitu naweza mwambia afanye na siko na ye, si train na ye, so sijui venya na train that okay that is well understood uh, na kombali na mimi for example mm-hmm. ni kibitu na ye sitakuwa na ile time mhm that is well yes. well understood i think kamelewa kabisa na that response is sufficient uh also ningependa kujua uh ukiji prepare kuingia kwa mechi ya say competition be it the national team be it GSU be it your professional club ni nini wewe unafanya what routine do you have kama unajua kesho asubuhi naanza competition how take us through that ni nini wewe unafanya kuji prepare psychologically physically and what not i think before ni cheze kama for example ni kwa na game kesho na sahau maneno ya volleyball kabisa I don't put my mind on volleyball at that time. Na yesa chukua hata ya fun zangu nisikie ngoma nikuwe tuna fun. Sitaki kufikiria anything about volleyball. Even our coach always advise us like that. Kama for example tumeenda kucheza tournament. Coach anaweza ombea chezeni fun. Wewe ni fun kuwa na kitu ya kucheza kama pool nini chezeni tu kitu yenye mabamba tu. 
musifikirie musifikirie game sana so because the more unafikiria game unaenda ufanye makosa so we don't put a mimi mimi kwangu siweke sana akili kwa volleyball before ni chelo najaribu kufikiria anga outside lakini nikikanyaka stadium hivi ndo najua sasa kumbe nimefika kwa uwanja sasa nafanya fanya nini hivi yes very well very well swali so, nyingine ku insist kwa hiyo ni kama setters kuna wakati huwa inafika tunachanganyikiwa and uh, side out haikuji unapeana left it's not happening center it's not happening nyuma it happen and in, even to some extent pia kuna wale wachezaji watakwambia when the tension is too high say the scores are uh, 13 13 and the set is going for 15 na hapo unajua coach atakukondolea match akwambie hiyo mawe usitupe and these players tell you usinipatie how do you handle that <laughs> I apostle here is sometimes but the best thing uh, as a setter uh, na kwa wale bado bado wanaendelea kucheza volleyball kama setters the best thing you do uh, in uh, in that uh, critical moment like 18 19 20 21 22 23 up i think to confirm is better but how can you confirm there is a ways you can confirm that ball ndo usitoe ule mchezaji mwenye amefanya makosa kwa game and then there is a key player mwenye amekukulia points mingi sometimes unaweza rely on open field sometimes don't rely on him at that time um, that's just an advice you can confirm that is the first thing you can confirm of which it will be good for your player you put your player in match then second one you can play the key player who score from you behind but don't rely on him too much at that critical moment i think it's understood that is uh, very well understood here gone Yeah I think one of the things ambazo watu wanajua huwa you know u, u, meli akiwa anacheza pale ni if if kuna scores ikifika there is usually just one person or two ambao unajua hiyo mpira inaenda tu for the rest of you ni ku, ku, ku cover huko nyuma na <laughs> na kufanya service ama ku block but in as far as kukata your score is concerned there is usually just uh, one at most yule ambaye na ameaminika kufanya vile Uh, it's good that you've also pointed out that um kuna swali ambalo Ruth Okeza ameweza kuuliza pale i think uh, Mary aliweza kuangazia mwanzo uh, tayari ameweza kuzungumzia kile ambacho anafanya akiwa nyumbani na pia kuwasaidia wale ambao wako kule chini mashinani uh Sosi Faith anasema good work i admire how you set those short balls continue making other people's stars to shine Uh, Sante sana uh, Kevin Koros I mean Kevin Deroge anasema Meli na Collins wa Ijaton na mimi mturi ni kama ni sisi tunaongeleshwa I think ni alisema hilo uh, ile wakati ambapo ulizungumzia setters ambao ama wachezaji ambao wanakuwa waweze kuachana na eh, pombe ama mihadarati mihadarati Joseph Korir anasema jambo Meli how would you advise upcoming players on mtaa volleyball participation Uh, do you think the volleyball village volleyball is useful as well um this one is an interesting one and also to point out that Meli pia akipata muda huwa anacheza kwenye hizi tournaments za mta but uh, i want you to hear from the horses mouth Meli i think ambo kwa mta ni kitu mzuri sana that's why mimi sometimes i can't play there ndio mm. wale setters wengine wajaribu kuiga mfano kidogo ile kitu yenye niko naye kidogo yenye niko naye si kama setters wengine kwa majuu sana but ile kitu kidogo niko naye hata anaweza jaribu ku, ku, ku implement kwa maisha yake ya volleyball hmm. pia hii mta ya Nairobi it's very very good it's very competitive sio rahisi it's very very good mimi napenda sana hii mta ya volleyball sometimes kama you know, you know this volleyball ni mta inasaidia sana because somebody in that weekend maybe mtu anafikiria kwenda kufanya something bad but if all boy katokea so inasaidia sana ina ku keep busy that weekend maybe you are you you are to do something bad but hiyo follow boy iko so ina inasaidia mchezaji pia inasaidia wale vijana wadogo wa mtaa huko pia wasee kina makiso 
badala ya kupumzika hiyo hiyo mwili kwa kubwa wanakuja wanacheza hapo hiyo inawasaidia pia kuka kuishi maisha mingi kwa kwa fully um very very interesting response there and it's good that uh, some of these mtaa tournaments in is in incorporate players ambao wamecheza kwenye league uh Riga Ndiklan anasema salimia Kenya one amepokea salamu sana uh swali jingine hapa ama ni comment ama nini any swali actually Kamir Malwal ambaye uh, alisema ana watch kutoka K, uh, MKU is a center player as a professional setter that masters all players moves what could be the tips or the best moves for a center player we actually played in the same team stars kule mtaani oh eh yeah, i think tunacheza pamoja kwa ile team ya stars ukicheza mtaa eh, tournaments kwa nauliza eh, what could be the tips or best moves for a center player eh umecheza na Kosirai ambaye ameweza kushinda uh, even an individual award na pia kushinda African Club Championships center player of course ameanza kucheza as a utility player pia anacheza right uh, but yeah what is your comment your answer for Malwa I think hapo yeye anataka signs ama anataka nini sijaelewa <laughs> anataka signs ya kucheza ama gani <laughs> moves gani moves zile poa za center player kuja aje i think that is what is asking inategemea pia comfortability ya mchezaji kuna ule mtu anajua kucheza hiyo pile piston eh, vizuri kuna ule mwenye anajua kucheza ile 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 shoot ya kwako kuna ule pia anajua kucheza ya saba ya nyuma so hizo vitu sina sinafari but hiyo ni kitu ya seta si wewe si wewe mchezaji wa katikati kumsa so, katikati ukikuja there is a there is a formation you cannot play for formality ama unacheza tu ati kumweka yeye piston ah uh-uh. there is something you maybe you are doing ama for example piston ni ile 3 Kenya tunasema ga 3 of which sign inakuanga hii mhm opo anaona e sign so okay. the more naita e sign na kuna mtu ako 8 of which tunaitanga tu professional 8 Kenya inaitwa 8 Kenya unaita hii piston anafuruta katikati Mm. Akifuruta katikati hapa itakuwa rahisi kucheza hiyo 8. Yeah. Haya, ukitaka kucheza for example na left kama kina ndera kina umulo, unaita shoot. Shoot hii ni kwako. Mm, mm, mm. Hii ukimuita kwako utafuruta huko katikati hapa. Then u push four. Mm. Then free ball ikikujanga sana sana watu wanacheza pipe. So pipe wezi ita shoot. Wezi ita piston na uweke mm. pipe because mm. pipe unaita shoot pipe, pipe utaita shoot then unasukuma kidogo hii ni shoot and then unasukuma kidogo juu yake not uh-huh. direct like 65 you know Kenya yeah. you are playing 65 this is wrong yeah. you mm. shoot hiyo hiyo akikuja shoot unaweka mpira inaenda kama inaitwa four mhm it's a uh, so katikati sana si ati kazi yao ni kupiga mpira sana ah uh-uh. create zile move compare ule blocker huko Eh, yeah, hard time to block mm. yeah then there is seven here yeah, kusunguka you now ukikuja and then you push outside or you play pipe and that's all about that question hey hey sisi ambao si setters leo tunaona na ya go shauri yako bosi is having a good time here eh shauri yako this this symbols and to these signs eh naona tu sijui hivi i know i know <laughs> anyway, now you know. those who are setters understand this better na wale wengine inabidi sasa tuanze kujifunza ndio usi wewe mwenye una attack usimwagwe pia unashindwa what am i doing here ah uh, collins kubet anasema all the best rap meli ah uh, mulilo anauliza swali jingine hapa Uh, greetings there is this time unakuwa na players wanacheza na pressure unakathirika and so on how do you deal with that as a setter considering that you are uh, the engine of the team so so nikuuliza hapo yego nani yako na huyu mwenye amulisha swali anaitwa joseph <laughs> mulilo nani avaa kuwa na kathirika kwa uwanja i think ni setter because sasa unakathirika wewe ni kuruzivu mpira na kuja kupiga ikikuwekea mpira mbaya sasa utakathirika sasa usema ati mimi ndio mbaya I think that is we huyo mwenye ameuliza swali seta yendo yendo mtu 
Ameuliza kama mimi kama mimi nimekasiri kama yeye. Yeye pia ni seta. Sasa ndio anauliza. Uh-huh. Ukicheza uh-huh. na wachezaji na wako na pressure na wanakasirika. How do you continue playing? Uh, wewe si ndio una you make or break the team. Pia ukasirike ama what do you do? How do you handle that pressure in short? I think I think hapo ni kuongelesha pia team. Before mcheze kwanza yafaa muongee. Mm. Guys, if kama kuna makosa itafanyika, si makosa ya kuweka roho. Hii ni makosa ya kila mtu anataka kushinda. So hata yes. nikikupigia kelele ama huyo mwingine ampikie kelele ule seta. Mm. Yeye mwenyewe ataki ataki kufanya makosa. Yes. Of which volleyball makosa ni mingi. There is this uh, sport beach volleyball. Mm-hmm. Beach volleyball ni watu wangapi? wawili. Hiyo kitu mm-hmm. inakuanga na na sasa asira kuliko sasa hii. Mm-hmm. Ile ile unaweza mpigia kelele umwambie receive mpira, waacha wakusavie udunga. It's the same story so sasa hata kukeukia. So so before before this question before them they play mpaka muelewane kwanza kama team. Guys, yeah. we need to win, we need score. If somebody yeah. make noise for you, yeah. He don't mean like anakuhate. Ni ubaya ni game. Ni ana ubaya, yeye anataka tu ushindi. So hata mimi nikikupikia kelele, sometimes me I go mad. Lakini si ati nako mad nikikuhate. I know your potential. So najaribu na kukupressure eh hey, bro we have to win this. Hiyo yeah. sio ati inamaanisha like but kuna wale wanayekanga ile asira but hiyo sasa that is beyond volleyball. Kama unaeka asira kwa volleyball na unacheza na mchezaji mwenzako mnashikana na yeye kwa moral that is beyond volleyball. Mhm. Yes your team work. I think ni maanza kwa jamaa. Umeweza kujibu vizuri kabisa. <laughs> so si faith anasema rudia hapo kwa science umetupoteza. Ana <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, and, but and, I think and, it's and, basically and, the same and, things with different uh, with different signs and uh, different uh, names to them, like Meli said. What we would call uh, three in Kenya is a totally different thing out there. So mm. it's a, just a difference in names, but the positions are pre- pretty much the same. The moves are pretty much almost the same. Or again, depending on the swiftness of the player and height. If I'm not wrong. Meli. Yes. Because hakuna vile utaleta mchezaji mfupi kwa attack katikati, alafu anablokiwa na mtu kama Kusirai, atakanyaga hiyo. Sure, sure. Yes. Sure, sure. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Isi vitu sina fari bozire. Bozire mwenyewe anajua mai kwa seta. So, so so hizi vitu sina fari. Hata Egon mwenyewe ni kwa sometimes some other time mai kwa seta. Unaona vile. Hai uongo. Hey, ah, yeah, wezi. Ndole zake zimekauka. Yeah, we kuna kitu moja nilikuwa nataka kuemphasize kidogo kwa marivaris wa Kenya. Mhm. Kuna hii double ball. Mhm. I think we have to keep room to players. Mhm. Ndio wasitoroke kuset hiyo mpira. We don't yeah. put uh, too much pressure on double ball. Unajua ile double ball I pick sana. There is a nilikuja nikaona hii league ya Kenya venye mlikuwa mnacheza juzi juzi mkimaliza. Muna wana wame wame exaggerate sana hiyo double ball. Mm. I think they have to limit because uh, the more una piga hiyo double ball, yenyewe mm. kweli you are given restriction to somebody who is passing that ball. But again, you are killing him. Mm. not to make uh, that ball better yeah. because sometimes uh, this thing mali mini menda double ball si mingi sana so the more mm. akipika hata jeset usha pika so uta unafanya mtu atoroke kabisa si why set mashaka ama ajaribu kuset hivi so we are building or we are crashing hey 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 i think i wish i wish refuango ngikuwa hapa na skiza in maneno very interesting yeah umekuwa victim mbaya eh hata ball mikono like i have to get into some funny posture in the the way the kwa attempt eh kama tena set up hiyo kai digira kwa mbali before that ball even leave my hands nilishapiga i think because of that 
<laughs> I think also chiming into that, I think it has gotten to a point that players literally are terrified of setting mm-hmm. ball. Even more so if this player is not a setter. They are terrified of handling that ball. You'd get a position where maybe they've risen their hands in position to set. Then when a kumbuka, there's a possibility of the whistle. Then by the time they switch on to underarm pass, it's too late. It's very true that Meli has mentioned it. I think it varies also in different competitions. There are even times when the referees are instructed not to penalize double balls. And the the key of the game is to keep the ball flying. I wish you would live with that. It steals away the excitement of the match when that keeps recurring. Then you first the tension comes in and again with time you lose focus completely because of that. Victor and teacher, I think, Mik- work, yes. I think Bozir and Gisema uh, there is difference to Kenya competition na Kenya Egypt size na hii yetu ya Kenya. I think ya Kenya have to to reduce kidogo ndio watu wazoe kuseti mpira. Unajua the more unasaya the more unasaya mpaka inapotea hiyo double. Very but tukienda competition huko nje ili tupigwe. Mhm. Au kwitu kianza ku train hapa mm-hmm. tuzoe tutaenda mpaka tupoteze hiyo double ball. But mm-hmm. na sasa size for example national team mwaita mwapea pressure hakuna mwenye anajua ku set na hiyo kitu. Okay we are going there. Who will set that ball now if I'm not setting? Mhm. That is that is what I was emphasizing on. Very true, very true. Victor Nyetich anasema nice work guys learning hapa pole pole never knew of the signs I am a left player na nimeshindwa kabisa how to take off. So I think yeah the concern is the way ya ku take off as a left player. Because again different players take off different in different ways. What would you say to Victor? Well, hapo kwa ku take off sasa. Take off unajua hata Enoch alikuwa na take off vibaya but now is a very good player. Um yeah I think we have lost uh, we have lost uh, Meli shortly but I am sure he will he will be back in a few. Uh Santeni sana for keeping this uh lively. Thank you so much for the comments. Nicolas Mutai unasema success. Uh, wishing uh, Meli success, Victor Nyatich, asante sana for your comments. So the faith Collins Kibet, Marlwal Kachwal, um Miro, Regan Declan. Asante ni sana everyone for the comments, keep them coming. We might start winding down in a bit, but uh, um keep any question that you have ambayo haujauliza, remember to ask uh, now within the next 10 minutes or so ili tuweze ku kuweza kuuliza huyu bingwa ambaye anaitwa um Brian Melly ama ukipenda Kenya one as uh, many of us know him uh, Florence unajua hiyo bit ya hiyo mpira kuron eh hey, i have suffered i have suffered <laughs> you do play the uh, opposite or is it center position opposite I think the most casualties are the, the center blockers because they've uh, they have finessed uh, the art of blocking they have forgotten what it means and they are best strategically placed to set that ball should the setter receive that ball so yeah center blockers I think they are the first casualties uh, hey you are you are still responding to this yeah I think get I think nilikuwa nasema I can't uh, answer all, all questions because uh, so, some other questions iko beyond me na iko something we can do ni practical. So huyo sasa ako mbali I can't answer that question because uh, angekuwa karibu ningemuonyesha how to take off pole pole. Because how can I narrate now how to take off? Um I think when the next the next time uh, and you know you know this the next time you are in uh, you are in high rise you know it is home away from home. Karibu sana uh, that is a player from High Rise Kenya weza kuja you will be of help i think more help I way. also i also to add on that i also feel that uh, with this di- digital age he is uh, at a better position to learn basically virtually anything that has to do with anything on earth there are videos youtube videos we have uh, the youtube uh, the javelin thrower 
who learned everything from YouTube. I see players currently, both uh, local and international, who take time to study how, like Meli mentioned, uh, study how other players from other parts of the world are operating. So I think that is something that he can sit down and watch and practice. And I, I believe with the guidance of his coach, if at all he has one, he'll be able to rectify on that. One key point to note is that it's better done earlier than later because as you age now, the, these tips become different. You can never uh, teach an old dog new tricks. I think yeah. there's a, a response here as well uh, from uh, Enoch Mogeni. Asante sana for watching. Anasema, ukweli mazoezi to take off, you need to be consistent, more so at this age. Uh, I think anasema, Hiyo biti ya enyamedi ya meongelea kwamba ye pia alikuwa na changamoto ya kuweza ku take off. But anasema look for a coach as well. Kwa hivyo anasema hiyo consistency inaitajika. I think uh, inweza kufikia Victor Mietich pale. Uh, Sante sana for joining us uh, Mogeni. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, if you're joining us now, this is Brian Melly uh, of General Service Unit. He's had quite an interesting journey in his career as a setter na anendelea ku sharpen his skills um uh, aspire to inspire unasema commitment consistency discipline and focus ndizo zile lessons ambazo ameweza kujifunza kutoka kwa mazungumzo haya asante sana for joining uh, maybe as we start to wind down um Brian Melly are there are there any plans you have beyond beyond your dream ambayo umesema ni kuweza kucheza um, world championships na pia kuweza kuingia kwa league ya ya Italy i think that is what you said um, do you have any other plans of you know transitioning into a coach after after you are you are done playing ama a referee ama you know any official in volleyball what are your plans Hapo <laughs> kwa plans kwa coach na after my follow up dogo I don't know I don't know I don't have uh, those plans because my mm -hmm. plans uh, my, my dreams ilikuwa hizo kucheza Italy uh, kucheza world championship I think that's when I get that one um, it's enough for me if I will be a coach some other time no problem that is something we, we, I will just look it at the end of my life but if I will be coach, no problem. It will be okay for me, no problem. Uh, but first, okay. just to finish my dream, then that one will come back. Later. Oh, yeah. So for now, you want to accomplish his goals. Ambazo ume, ume biekea pale. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, kwamba you have targets. Ambazo we mwenye unataka commit. And uh, I think it's when you lisema that uh, any of the young players about they are looking up to you always to write down their goals and work towards um achieving them in addition to uh, these nuggets that uh, aspire to inspire has written down uh that uh, people should you know be, commit um, be consistent in their training uh, remain disciplined throughout and of course maintain maintain that focus those are really important um for growth florence well, uh, very interesting uh, key points there by Meli, who is a seasoned right now, seasoned uh, set. Uh, we thank each, one, each and everyone who has taken time to watch this and ask questions, because I believe from those questions and the responses they get, other people get to learn a lot more to do with volleyball other than what they just see, or rather what they they hear because some may may not have any experience playing the game thank you so much for joining us thank you mainly for making time we do not take this for granted and the people like you are what uh, keep us here and keep us going yeah go yeah i want to really take this time to thank you um brad Melly. i uh, you know you have uh, you know the training and you know you're working up to you know getting up for the assignment in cairo um but even amidst all that you've taken time to be able to speak to us so maybe your closing remarks 
And of course, you've said a lot of these nuggets to players who are coming, but any other tip that you will have for them or advice that you have for um, the players or any word you want to give to anyone who is passionate about volleyball, um, take your time and uh, do that and also give your closing remarks. Over to you. Okay, Gon and Bozire, I thank you so much for being here. What I can advise or what I can finish in my remarks, just be focused. The way he has written their commitment. Na ukwe na lengo kama ishako. That's all about somebody's life. And plan your life and your journey well. Pia kama ujawa or that's all. Hey, 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 we can only pray that you go higher and higher and uh, fly the Kenyan flag as high as possible. We'll be cheering you on from uh, the sidelines and we hope that um, the best comes to you. Uh, thank you also, viewers, for making time. Asante ni sana kwa kukana sisi kupiga story about me. So, and we, we look forward to bringing you even more interviews like this. And uh, you never know, we might be hosting one day an international or a uh, foreigner on this show. We look forward to keeping this going. Well, um, I wish we had the ability to join you guys um, in Cairo and maybe even bring these, the action from Cairo live um, for <clears throat> the world to see you perform in that, uh, you know, in that arena, that global arena. Uh, but that is something that we hope to achieve in the near future. Uh, Sante Sana for giving us your time. And of course, um, we will take a break tomorrow. Um, but on Friday, we will be back with the Libero uh, Trailblazers Volleyball Club, who also has been called up to the national assignment, uh, James Mutero. Um, we will communicate, of course, the time. It's just the same time, uh, 7.30 p.m. on Friday. And we have even more interesting guests um, lined up for all of you. Kwa Ivo Asanteni, Asanteni Sana for keeping this uh, interesting, keeping this engaging. And um, I hope that we are learning a thing or two from the guests that we are bringing here because they have quite a lot of experience in this game. Um, of course, once this season is done, once we hit 13 episodes of conversations around volleyball, uh, we'll take a break on volleyball a little bit and bring you other sports, guys from, you know, stars from athletics, from rugby, from call it, name it, all the other sports um, so that we all, you know, learn and get to hear their stories. From my desk here, I want to say Asante Sana. Um, and guys, you have a lovely evening. And, you know, the rest of the week, we wish that Inakua uh, Ya Fanaka, Na Baraka, and uh, all the best, Meli, as you prepare for the next assignment. And we wish you the very best. Thank you, bro. Have a lovely evening, everyone. Cool. Same to you. Uh, have a good evening.